That just made a weird noise. Why did you make a weird noise? Hello. My phone made a noise. It went brrr. Um, so... I know what you're thinking. Yes, it does look shiny. But it also, um... Look at that. Okay, so remember when I used to flick my hair out and it kept going to about here? It's so short! I lost... Well, so the hairdresser um, took some before and after pictures for me. Now, I was wearing my jeans. Normal, just a normal pair of blue jeans. And my hair before she cut it. Oh, there we go. But before she cut it, it came to just on the pocket line on my on my jeans and after she cut off the after picture it's uh about um here so before it used to come sort of here but now it's like kind of chest level kind of like okay, so I, think I said the other day like on my rib cage almost like just just below yeah so back here so follow that around the back just kind of like on my lower two ribs that's a lot that's like that much hair um but she had to do it on the damage line there's no point cutting it um and there still be dead ends there um it feels so much lighter i mean that could be partly because um i hadn't washed it um before i went and she's i, I apologize because um my light is broken in the bathroom and himself hasn't taken it down because I can't reach it. I can't reach it to take it down. Um, look at that. It's just, that's it. It's done. Um, I can't reach the light, the light to take it down so I haven't, um, you know, changed the bulb yet which means I don't really want to shower in the dark. I've been washing, you know, I can, you know, I can, I can keep the essential areas clean. Um, but washing my hair is a lot more awkward so instead of being like a week of ick there was two weeks of ick um so some of the lightness could be from the fact it's clean see look at that takes half the time um but the rest of it sorry i'm gonna keep playing it for a little while the rest of it is you know because i've lost about i don't know i think at the longest point and um remembering i think some of the damage is where some of the hairs have kind of stretched and because it was kind of going to, it's it's blunt at the moment, um, but some of the hairs get probably did stretch, so it, it did kind of point. So I think easily at the longest it was probably about a foot of length. You, you could make a whole person, you know, hair out of that. You know, it's crazy, and it's um you probably can't really tell, but it's slightly shorter at the front, so we get a nice little taper. So it's a little. A little bit shorter. There we go. So you get a nice bit of um there we go. Oh yeah, and you can see my nice fox jumper. Um so yeah. You got a little bit of tapering, a little bit of softness at the front. So it's not layered, it's it is kind of straight, but it's a little bit softer at the front, just to not so harsh. But I can still put off I can still um pop it into a ponytail so that I can keep it back out of the way when I'm eating but uh <sighs> otherwise um yeah it's it's done it is done and I I might I might go back I'm, I'm always toy with the idea of colouring it I'm not saying I'm definitely going to but you know I have had it coloured before I mean at the moment this is completely natural um because like all the colour that was there she's like cut off so there's like no more colour left now. I think it's all more or less one shade. So, um, well, natural shades within that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's shorter. It's lighter. Obviously, it's nice and clean at the moment. And yeah, it's a, it's a lot more dramatic than I anticipate it being. Um, but yeah, um, tell me what you think. You think it suits me? You think it's nice and shorter? Um, I've still got that weird peak, and I did ask her about that, like this, these stray bits of hair on, on like a widow's peak. It's, 
just, it's just there. It's just a thing. <clears throat> but anyway, let us to the book. And let's see what the questions is today. Okay, uh, what famous person do you look up to and why? Um, I suppose lots of different heroes over the time. I mean, <sighs> generally speaking, when it comes to actors, it's usually because you enjoy their um, their performances. Um, one of my first, and I'm sure I've told you this before, one of my first celebrity like Hollywood crushes um, was Michael J. F is well, he was Michael J. Fox, but yeah, and. At the time, it was just because I thought it was cute and because I liked the films he was in. And he is a good actor. I mean, in his biography, he talks about how he was doing a lot of theatre in Canada when he was still in high school. Like, you know, uh, 14, 15, 16. And because he was, you know, doing, th you know, doing all this theatre and he didn't have um, equivalent to the Coogan Law, which in America is the the law that means children have to have on such uses. We have similar laws in England that basically children can only work a certain amount of hours or days and they still have to get their education. Um, basically he kind of got screwed over by the fact there wasn't one in Canada. So he was doing theatre as a, as a teenager in Canada um, but because he was getting up late and he, because his drama classes just happened to be morning classes He'd be winning all these um, kudos and accolades, and I think probably possibly even a couple of local theatre awards for his performances, and then failing drama class in school. Um, but obviously, more recently, uh, I say recently, like last decade or so, um, he's had his whole Parkinson's um, thing, and not just oh woe is me, I now have Parkinson's, but huh, I have Parkinson's. How can we make this better? How can I fix this? How can I make it better for other people? Maybe maybe now I can't. You know, maybe I don't know the specifics of his neurology right now, but um, it, it might be a past point that even if there is a cure or a preventative or something that happens, it comes, I mean, you know, and it's possible that there, you know, the developments are things that can help him in his day-to-day -day life and, you know, make his living easier but not necessarily completely cure him i mean maybe hopefully maybe one day there is and it will actually cure people that are you know day one or day couple of thousand you know wherever they are in their um progress in their in their um pathology then you know maybe all can be helped but in the meantime any bit of anything that can be done that is leading towards the betterment you know of people's day-to-day -day lives um you know people living with this disease I, I i haven't really looked into the um mjf foundation a huge amount apart from the fact that nobody exists um but you've got um neurologists and, and, and other brain experts and chemists and however you know following all these different paths to trying to find a cure specifically for parkinson's but who's to say in that research they're not um, finding things that can help with Alzheimer's, for example, or just other little threads that maybe they're not fully sure they, you know, maybe it's slightly outside of their experience, their realm of knowledge, but they can then sort of say, oh, um, you, you're an expert on this. Um, is this an interesting thread? Is this something that could ultimately help you or send you down a path? So, yes, the Foundation's primary um, mandate is to cure Parkinson's. But who is to say in that research that they have, they won't or haven't already, if not entire, excuse me, if not entire cures, then at least something along a path that sends someone along a path to helping the betterment or you know furthering along the cure of a different thing as well it, you know, because neurology is a big complicated subject um so yes they like yeah you know, so the this is something that has has been started by one person 
has been inspired by one person and maybe you could argue it's somewhat I'm not gonna st somewhat not 100% selfless um because obviously he, he like the cure for himself but it's inspired all this research it's inspired all these people to come together people that is the whole team fox thing like i think they do races and such and obviously it's created an awareness and acceptance for other people with parkinson's at you know any any given age and that i think is worthy of admiration more so than the acting and i still do enjoy him as an actor but as an activist and someone who's you know rallying people together to help you know cure this this thing that it makes people put some i think even though his life has obviously become harder he he is um a very wealthy man his his wife uh, don't worry about that we'll get in a minute his wife obviously she has her own career um so they've got money coming from both sides i think most of their children are grown up now so you know they're all taken care of um yeah so he can afford to have the nicer things not everyone can so you know maybe so he's got his wherever level he's at and has his limitations but he has all these comforts that he's worked hard for um he and tracy have both worked hard for what they've got but someone in a less privileged position with a more severe case it's helping both of them you know ultimately it will be helping both of them and that like i said that's pretty damn cool so yeah um i guess the famous person i admire um ever since i was 12 um to today would be michael j fox for different reasons but you know because he's taken his problems and turn them around and try to help everyone else with the same problem and possibly by accident other people with different problems because that's the nature of scientific research sometimes you go down one path and you discover a new one and that's why it's cool and exciting all right, but that beeping, if you heard it, was my dinner. So I'm going to go sort that out. But if you have been, uh, thanks for watching. I completely appreciate it. You're awesome. Uh, feel free to comment on, well, anything. Except my baskets. I'll get to them later. Tay. Um, it's not the weekend yet. It's only Friday. But anyway, yes. Uh, if you have been, uh, thank you for watching. You're awesome. Anything you want to share, feel free. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!